Hi guys, um, I'm here with an L3 Waxy Wonder Haul, Wonders Haul. Um, as you know, she's closing shop next month in like two-ish weeks. I'm not really sure at what date on in September. So I got some pre-orders, pre-order items and some ready to ship items. And I'm actually gonna go online after this haul and do at least one more haul based off of what's left on the website. I don't foresee her doing any more. She might do some ready to ship drops but at this point it's touch and go and we just don't even know what's going to happen moving forward so the first thing i have is not for me and it has dog hair on it um it's the moisture oh i forgot to say my intro long time no see okay now <laughs> it's the moisturize me dry oil sauvage type um sauvage is dior right Ooh, there's a ton of dog hair on this i was trying not to show you all this dog hair but it looks like that and it's four ounces. So I buy another oil from another company that is also regularly, I buy another oil from another company that's four ounces as well. This is four ounces. And this is way cheaper than that company's. Um, and that company also does like types and um, what do they call them? Inspirations in, I can't remember the word. However, I thought I'd give these a try. I had never tried them before and they weren't always available. That's one thing I noticed. So I got it in that and then I got this one, which is how it came. Uh, my husband just already opened that one and started using it. This is, oh, okay. I thought I lost it. <laughs> this is the vanilla lace type. I told you guys vanilla lace is one of my favorite vanilla scents. It's just like musk and vanilla. And it's vanilla on the hint of like edible vanilla, but not too much for me. So I have this four ouncer and I've never seen anybody do a vanilla lace body oil. This claims to be on their website. Oh no, it does say, it says dry oil. And it claims to be a dry oil, which means that it does not stay, is wet the word? It it dries down faster is what I should say. Um, but you see, I gotta cut this like a lot. So I did try it on my skin. It lasted for me. My husband said it didn't last for him, but he also said that after he went to the gym, after a whole day. So I'm not really sure what that means. The next thing I had was a ready to ship item. Uh, those were those dry oils. They were pre-order. This is a ready to ship item. It's confetti cake pop, adipose, and toasted marshmallow. I'm on the fence about confetti cake pop, but I do love these fluid tarts. I love these fluid tarts. That's my favorite thing from her. I wish more people made smaller shapes but i get it okay i know i like adipose i know i look like toasted marshmallow so the thing that i don't like in here and it's not necessarily a don't like i'm just kind of surprised that confetti cake pop is so perfumey like it catches me off guard every single time because confetti cake pop is the name of it I have to go look at the notes because it just doesn't make sense to me. And the only other time I've had confetti cake pop was the perfume from them. And I think I still have a little bit of that. This was a ready to ship item as well. This is Chardonnay. And then when I opened the box for this, this is the first thing I smelled. Wow, like spot on, spot on, like. Sutter Homes. <laughs> you can tell I don't drink expensive wine. I was trying to find out like something else. Isn't there a guy's name like Ted's or Eddie's or something? That's a wine that people like, but y'all, it's not my thing. Also, if the angle is like real high, I feel like I'm craning my neck. I found my tripod. I don't know if I said that earlier. And these are also, oh wait, no, these are from the pre-order. I don't really remember some of this, but I got another Bomb Dia Bright type. I just love this scent, guys. I This is my favorite scent that Sol de Janeiro came out with. Yeah, these don't have any notes. Anything I read to you so far didn't have notes. Outside of, obviously, the confetti cake thing. I can't... Oh, these are called trick tarts. They're supposed to be one note anyways. I think originally she made them to... Don't quote me on this, but I think originally she made them so that you can mix them with things. So yeah, Chardonnay is one oil. Bomb Dia Bright is one oil. Then you have Suntan Lotion. I love the scent of Suntan Lotion. <laughs> it just takes me there. Like it takes me to the beach. Like it takes me to the point where you're like, you're watching other people or you're like, 
okay, let me take it back. Your eyes are closed and you're on the beach and you're just drying off a little bit before you go to your next thing or do your next thing or go get a drink and all you hear is <laughs> and every time I smell sunscreen lotion, I'm on the beach mentally. I have copper tone. <laughs> I just drink. You want a cheap vacation? Warm some copper tone <laughs> and some suntan lotion. Probably the cheapest vacation you'll get right here. <laughs> okay. From the first order, I had some samples. Let's see. I have books, Sugar Cookie Royale. Okay. I love Sugar Cookie Royale. I can't imagine not liking this. You can make Sugar Cookie Royale with almost anything and I'm gonna like it. It's a simple square. That is so funny. I kind of do get the books. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> you just don't expect it. This is gonna be interesting. There's zucchini bread coconut cream pie, and this is a little Christmas bulb. Uh, is it a mitten or a bulb? Just kidding, it is a whole fish. I don't know how I got that out of there. <laughs> Ooh. I do like zucchini bread, just in the slightest. But yeah, this looked like from the back, it kind of looked like a mitten or a Christmas bowl. Okay, two for two on the, the samples. Usually there's a sample that, I mean, two for, yeah, two for two. Here's the third. So this is the one that should, <laughs> I should not like, essentially. This is Alpha 5. Somebody explain. Coconut milk, coconut cream sugar, milk. Now keep in mind, there are no commas, so I could have said that all extra wrong. It could be alpha comma five. It could be alpha five comma. It could be alpha five coconut comma. Like once there's no commas, I don't know what the notes are anymore. Okay. I love the the shape and the color, but something, and I know what that something is. It has to be the alpha five. It's like fabric softener E, and then you have all that coconut and cream and sugar and milk and I, I wouldn't have put those together, but <laughs> I'm also not a creator of wax. And I know there's so many different people who like different things. I think these were pre-orders as well. I have a Leviosa, today is October 3rd, in a scoopable. I said I was gonna stop buying scoopables, but some of this stuff was only available in scoopable. It has a lid. Mm. That is so good. It's very fall. Love that. I'm going to have to put that in my seasonal wax. The funny thing is I'm going to put it in my seasonal wax. And then when I pull out my seasonal wax, I'm like, what does this have to do with anything? <laughs> it's going to confuse me because of the name. Diet starts Monday. Oh, wait. Does this have notes on it? Because I just realized this one does. Oh, okay. So El uh, Leviosa today is October 3rd is apple cider, leaves, spice, palo santo, toast and, mar toast and mallow, and Sugar Cookie Royale. So that it kind of explains the smell I was getting of fall. Especially since leaves, the scent, the fragrance, the fragrance oil leaves is so very fall. Like it's the epitome of fall for me. That and pumpkin, I could just do those in different variations the entire three-ish months of fall. This is good. Diet starts Monday. I'm probably gonna look for more of this. Actually, I'm gonna put this somewhere else. I'm gonna put this on the over here and see if there's any more of that because that is a repurchase. Diet Starts Monday is one of her signature combinations. It's cotton candy, frosting sugar, cookie royale, Santa's on keto, sugar, shortbread. It's the cotton candy that I'm, I'm not crazy about. So I'm glad I was able to try this because I've seen this on her site before. However, uh, not a repurchase for me. Oops. I got a spoon. So, and then I got some... I'm just going to get these out because they're huge. Uh, because of... Oof, like I said before, her closing. I got what she calls the B-bars. B-E-E -E bars. And I got two of them in some signature scents. You guys know I go crazy for Don't Cross Dreams. My favorite scent from hers, hands down. This thing is two layers. Two, 
is it? No, it's actually not two layers. This is one big old bar. I just realized that because I turned it over. Oh my goodness, it's thick. Like these, I wanna say one of these hexagons, I don't know. I know the word for this. These have hives. The hives have, oh my gosh, I'm losing it. Even honey has these. Honey has this in it. Anyways, the notes are adipose, vanilla cookies, vanilla wafer, and vanilla ice cream. I know it's been a long day when I can't think of a word that I know. Uh, <laughs> I'm really good with words. I don't know if anybody's noticed. So anytime that I can't think of a word that I use regularly or just know, I know that it's been a long day. Everything. Everything. Honestly, I should have been putting the dates on these. I think I can backtrack them through my shop app and hopefully go back and date them because... There's no date on this, but this will probably be the last one I get from her of this scent. And same for today is October 3rd. Today is October 3rd is just so good. It is Palo Santo Toasted Mallow and Sugar Cookie. And wait, that's a sugar cookie? Sugar Cookie Royale, sorry. Heavy. These things are thick. Oh my gosh. So I'm wondering, to finish my sentence that I started earlier, I just realized that I think I could have these and that would be a good portion for a warmer, I think. Uh, my neighbor actually just oh yeah that's perfect perfect honestly i feel like today's october 3rd is even good for like if you don't like edible scents like the sugar cookie royale really takes the back seat to the palo santo and i think that's what makes it so good palo santo mixed with sugary things regardless if it's an edible sugar or if it's something as sweet as lavender i've noticed it's just really good it's like look, i really like that combination okay now I have Baccarat Rouge 540. I jumped on this. I told you guys, I've been using like a Baccarat, uh, <laughs> that busy B bar or the B bar just hit the camera, the tripod and the tripod moved. <laughs> That's how big it is. But I've been using Baccarat in my car and I'm loving it so far. And so when I saw this as a loaf, I said, sure, I'll try it. Also, I had the candle, the knockoff candle from Bath and Body Works that was like a jasmine saffron candle. And yeah, really like this. I'm gonna see if my neighbor wants some of this because she, like I said, was talking about like things that she wanted as scents in her house. Um, and she just asked me for like reference. But the thing is, people always say my house smells good, but does everybody want their house to smell like cookies? I don't know. So I decided to go through my wax and my candles and just put aside things that were like a little bit more vague and then to introduce her to like, more edible things and like different scents like grass and you know ozone layer as we go aquatic scents you know things that people typically don't think of when they think of scented homes or their house being scented so i'm gonna introduce her to a couple of things again down the line and maybe she'll end up being like me and just will like every smell for most smells for the most part the next thing i have is on Wednesdays, we wear pink. It's pink frosted animal cookies, and today is October 3rd. Now, I love today's October 3rd. As you've seen, I bought the bee bar, the biggest size she offers. But I'm hoping that the pink frosted animal cookies, which is one of my favorite scent notes across the board, will make it even sweeter. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Now, pink frosted animal cookies is exactly what it sounds like. Those little pink cookies that you used to have, they used to have sprinkles on them. Um, they were circus animals. This is really good, guys. Oh my gosh, that was such a good blind pick for me because I was scared. <laughs> I've done some blind picking that you've seen and I, I was like, when, when on earth am I use this? Like, somebody please explain when. Okay, we're gonna do the samples and I'm gonna do the last two because I have to spray the last two. That's not a hint. <laughs> All right, where are we, 14 minutes? That's not bad. I was trying not to get all the way up to 20. I don't know if you guys like long form videos or not, but I, they're not my favorite to watch. <laughs> so I have roasted pine cones, let them eat cake and cashmere cedar. Now this can go any all kind of ways because I like roasted pine cones. I like, let, I like cashmere and sometimes like cedar and I don't like let them eat cake. So this is this. These are two little fish. I'm gonna say fish because of the last time. They're not fish, they're people. <laughs> One day I'm gonna get these shapes right. That's a person. That's not bad, that's not bad at all. Okay, 
it's not in the repurchase, but it is, it's pleasant considering I don't like let them eat cake. Okay, I have London Fog Iced Tea and Books. I'm assuming I'll like this. London Fog, I believe, is a inspiration scent. What are we calling those? Things that are perfumes and other already created scents. Inspirations? Inspired by? I don't know. This is a rabbit question mark? Hmm. Hmm. Also, not bad, but like, wouldn't want it on my warmer for more than like four hours. Like I could get tired of it, <laughs> but I, it's not bad. Like I like tea scent, so that's not surprising. The next thing I have is fizzy soda lemon curd. I don't love fizzy soda. Oh, well, I misread it. So it's fizzy soda lemon custard and I don't love fizzy soda, but I do love a custard and I pretty much like lemon in it. So we're gonna see, this is a heart. It's a little orange heart, little orange heart. Oh, no. No. I wonder if there's any... Is there any lemon custard in it? It kind of just smells like Sprite. <laughs> like, which, if I thought it was going to be a Sprite scent, I would have probably given it a little bit more grace. But I think I was... You know, you have your brain, like, prefix to smell what you think it smells like. And that was weird. Okay. Last two things. I have two perfumes that I purchased. One is Bombardier Bright Type. And this black is so cute. I kind of wish like all of the ones that I've ever ordered from her came this black. But I get like some, I also, okay, so I'm picky, right? I like these like black on gold. Like I think that's pretty good, like really good aesthetic. Like it looks good, right? But then I also want to see the liquid, but how? How? I can't have it both ways. Okay, so this is Bombardier Bright Type. That was like a little, little week. I think I'm gonna save this for next summer though, because August is in like a minute. Or no, September is in a minute. <laughs> this is so good guys. Like this is gonna be my signature summer scent. Why I have not just bitten the bullet and bought the Sol de Janeiro, I can't even explain to you why. Like I have no reason, literally no reason that I haven't done it. But I love that scent. It's the plum, the plum in there everything okay and this is a scent i already know i love this is angel share killian type i love angel share it's my favorite killian scent i feel like it smells like an upscale like perfume version of cinnamon apples and so it is my fall scent like last year wore it out like to the point where people started thinking of me when they smelled that scent okay now you gotta let the, uh, the alcohol dry now. Everything, every smells just like it. And you know what? I have a body oil, and she actually sells or B Lux Essentials sells uh, Angel Share Killian body oil, the in the dry oil. And honestly, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and buy it. I already have a body oil from a different company, but this smell is so good. And I promise it's apples and cinnamon. Like, have I ever looked up the nose for that? No. <laughs> but just going on smell, this scent is so fall sexy. Like, I can't. I can't get over it. I can't get over how good it is. Like, why do not, why is it not more popular? Like, it should be more popular than the, I think it's Love Don't Be Shy is the one that Rihanna made popular. This is not year round so i get it oh I did, did i show you guys the packaging the clear with the purple it's like a purplish but yeah i'm buying more of this like at first i was like no i'm not because i have so many of the body oils but this is just gonna be a topper for my body oils it's just too good okay i talked till 20 minutes regardless of what i just said <laughs> like comment and subscribe for more content like this and be on the lookout for my bath and body works haul coming up have a great day